Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Yinka. So in this lovely dress, it's a shift dress. It's very fine. I like the sleeve. The sleeve is so interesting. And yeah, so let's get into it. I want nobody but you. Let's cut out the sleeve. So it's going to have base of pencil sleeve. So my fabric is folded into four, so that I can cut out the base of the pencil. Uh, so that I can cut out the base of the sleeve, which is going to be a pencil sleeve. So let me hold my line so that I can have a starting point. So from this my line, I'm going to measure the length, the total length of the sleeve. The total length of the sleeve is supposed to be 18 inches, but I'm going to be making this base to be 15 inches, okay? Like this. Then I'll measure from the top, I'm measuring four inches. That's going to be the cap height. So on the cap height line, I'm going to put the ham hole together with the number of ease that was added to the fabric and then the same same allowance okay then you get your armhole curve get your armhole curve this way then you come to the hemline you're going to put the round sleeve circumference the round sleeve is 10 so divided by 2 that will be 5 put your 5 then you put your same allowance and then you connect together then you cut it out this is going to be the base of the sleeve So it's a flay, it's a pencil sleeve, then we have some layers of flay on top of it like this. So the first one, I'm going to fold the fabric like I am cutting and half circle. So you can see the way I folded the flay. So your fabric is folded into two first, then after that, you're just going to fold it diagonally like this, like triangle. Can you see? So it's folded diagonally. So next, you just trace out the shape of this, um, of the hampo. Trace out the shape of the hampo like this. Can you see? Then you measure the length that you want for the first layer of the flay and that is like around six and a half then how hard seam allowance of one inch for folding so everything is seven and a half can you see you mark it this way then you go back to the tip of this triangle you measure down to where you have your measurements and you rotate it like this so this is 17 so i'll rotate the 17. You see, then you cut it out. And you see, so it's going to be on top of this one. So you cut out the next one so you may need the circumference of where you are putting the second the next one so the first one is stopping here six and a half this is where the first one is stopping but then you know this first one needs to cover the second layer a bit so let's make it to overlap it by one inch so we'll be fixing this the first the second layer on this line okay so from here to here is five and a half. So I'll rule it. Okay, like this. So let's just divide here into two again. That is where the other layer is going to be. So the next layer will be five, six and a half. Like this, six and a half. Six and a half, but you know, it needs to overlap the other one as well. So we'll be making it 
ไปสามนะคะโอเคสองมิลิส so the first one will be with the ham hole the next one will be on this line then the other one will be on this line so you just to cut flay you cut your flay the circumference of your flay is going to be the circumference of this place accordingly okay if you want it to have pleat you can pleat it as well next you also fold the fabric again like a triangle so that you can cut the next flay and you just measure the circumference that you have here so here i have 8.75 so i'll just look for a position where i can see the 8.75 which is here and i'll roll it next i'll measure down the length we are working with length 7.5 7.5 so you measure the 7.5 7.5 or you can also rotate it since we have measured so i'll come to the tip of the triangle come back to the tip of the triangle and rotate your whatever you have here now i have I have 18 inches, so I'll rotate the 18 inches. 18 inches. 18 inches. So I'll cut it out. you see remaining the last one so the last one the circumference so you also fold the fabric again into a triangle this way like i said if you want it to have some pleats you can make it more than the circumference but i will just do the exact measurements so this is folded like a triangle again then i'll measure the length here also here i have seven inches exactly seven inches so i'll look for the position that i will see the seven inches from the triangle this is seven inches then you measure down the length that we want for the play the exact length we have been doing which is seven and a half then go back to the tip of your triangle i rotate here i have 16 so to 16 it's clear this is going to be on top of this line this is going to be on this line can you see and this is going to be at the circumference pretty simple easy to cut and beautiful i'm going to work on the sleeve so the first thing i'm going to do is to end the lower part of the sleeve That was the one that was so this place that I'm notching is the position where the flay will be attached, just the way I've explained on the table. So this is the flay. I've m the lower part of it. I've m the lower part. So the next thing I will do is just to start placing it on the pencil sleeve. Just the way I have explained, you're going to roll it and place it on top. But then you need to m the lower part of the pencil sleeve first. So let me do that. So 
so just the way I have explained, you roll the line on the ghost side, the line you are going to be stitching on. done and that's it this is the second one so next you're going to attach the sleeve So the last thing is just to close the side. So before closing the sleeve, you can just uh do the flay like this so that it will be easy for you to sew. See the way I'm pushing them very well on top of the pencil sleeve so that I can I can mash it and make them to be on the same line with the pencil sleeve so that it's be easy for me to sew so that I don't have the flay going into the allowance. Do you understand? Okay, so I first use machine to stitch down the flay so that it's be easy for me when I'm sewing so once you're done doing that then go ahead and close the side of the press and the press is ready